Welding machines form the backbone of numerous industries, from automotive manufacturing to construction. When selecting a welding machine, one of the fundamental choices is between AC, alternating current, and DC, direct current welding machines. Each type offers distinct advantages and limitations that make them suitable for different applications. Working Principles The DC welding machine converts AC electricity into DC through a multi-step process. Initially, it rectifies and filters AC electricity, then inverts it into medium to high-frequency low-voltage AC through high-power thyristors, and finally rectifies it again to produce a stable DC current. The output current maintains a consistent direction throughout the welding process, never changing polarity unless manually adjusted. The AC welding machine operates on a simpler principle. It reduces AC electricity through a transformer and adjusts the output current size using a reactor. The output current changes direction periodically, typically 50 or 60 times per second, alternating between positive and negative polarity. This alternating nature creates a distinct welding characteristic compared to DC welding. Physical characteristics. The physical attributes of these welding machines differ significantly, affecting their practicality in various work environments. DC welding machines are smaller in size and lighter in weight, making them easier to transport and maneuver. However, they contain more complex internal components, offering moderate durability with more potential failure points and higher maintenance requirements due to sophisticated electronics. AC welding machines, on the other hand, are larger and heavier in construction, making them more difficult to transport. They feature a simpler internal structure with fewer electronic components, resulting in stronger durability, longer lifespan, and lower maintenance requirements and costs. Performance characteristics. The performance differences between AC and DC welding machines are perhaps the most critical factors for welders to consider. DC welding provides a stable, consistent arc that's easier to control and offers easier arc starting with fewer interruptions. It produces minimal spatter during welding and delivers higher quality welds with smoother appearance. DC welding enables faster welding speeds, creates welds with minimal deformation, and produces less oxidation and corrosion in the weld area. AC welding creates a less stable arc that fluctuates with the current and presents more difficulty in arc starting with frequent arc extinguishment. It generates significant spatter during the welding process and results in rougher weld surfaces with potential inconsistencies. AC welding operates at slower welding speeds, produces welds with more potential deformation, and creates more oxidation and corrosion in the weld area. Cost considerations. Budget constraints often play a decisive role in equipment selection, and the cost differences between these machines are substantial. DC welding machines have a higher initial purchase price, often two to three times more expensive than AC machines, and more complex maintenance requirements leading to higher service costs. However, they offer better energy efficiency during operation and have a lower impact on the power grid, potentially reducing utility costs. They do require higher specialized knowledge for operation and maintenance. AC welding machines have a lower initial purchase price, making them more accessible and simpler maintenance with lower associated costs. They have lower energy efficiency during operation and a higher impact on the power grid with potential for increased utility costs. They require less specialized knowledge for basic operation and maintenance. Application range. The suitability of each machine type varies significantly depending on the specific welding application. DC welding machines excel in high quality, precision welding tasks, such as welding pressure vessels, bridges, ships, and pipelines. They work well with various metal materials, including stainless steel and titanium alloys, and allow for flexible welding positions, flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead. They're suitable for energy-efficient welding tasks such as field construction and repairs and thin material welding requiring precise control. AC welding machines excel in aluminum alloy welding due to their oxide breaking capabilities and general steel structures requiring less precision. 
They're well suited for applications using alkaline electrodes and welding magnetized materials, prevents arc blow. They perform well in shipbuilding applications requiring high heat intensity, welding in corners and creating welding seams and repair work on rusted metal. Material compatibility. The type of material being welded often dictates which machine will perform better. DC welding is excellent for low carbon steel, high carbon steel, and stainless steel, and ideal for titanium alloys and other specialty metals. It's less effective for light metals like aluminum and magnesium, and struggles with oxidized materials due to lack of cleaning action. DC welding requires thorough surface preparation to prevent poor quality welds. AC welding is particularly effective for aluminum and magnesium alloys and good for oxidized metals due to the cleaning action of alternating current. It's limited to welding with alkaline electrodes and has poor welding effects on acidic electrodes and high strength steel. AC welding is better suited for rusted or contaminated metals due to its cleaning action. Efficiency and power factors. The electrical characteristics of these machines affect both their performance and impact on power systems. DC welding machines have lower overall efficiency, typically 30 to 40%, but higher power factor, approximately 0.6 to 0.7. They have minimal impact on power grid stability, less interference with other electrical devices, and fast response times due to electronic components. AC welding machines have higher overall efficiency, typically 80 to 85%, but lower power factor, approximately 0.3 to 0.4. They have significant impact on power grid stability, more interference with other electrical devices, and slower response times due to simpler components. Arc stability and control. The behavior of the welding arc significantly impacts weld quality and ease of use. DC welding provides consistent, predictable arc behavior that's easier for beginners to learn and control. It has minimal arc outages and electrode sticking and is better for precision work requiring steady hand control. However, it's susceptible to arc blow when welding magnetized materials and experiences voltage drops with long leads. AC welding creates a fluctuating arc that requires more skill to manage and is more challenging for beginners to master. It has more frequent arc outages and potential electrode sticking and is less suitable for precision work requiring fine control. However, it's resistant to arc blow when welding magnetized materials and less affected by long lead lengths. Weld quality and appearance. The aesthetic and structural qualities of completed welds vary between machine types. DC welding produces cleaner, smoother weld beads and creates welds with better penetration. It results in stronger mechanical properties, generates less post-weld cleanup requirements, and enables more consistent weld quality across the joint. It's better for visible or cosmetic welds. AC welding creates rougher weld beads with more variation and provides moderate penetration characteristics. It may require more post-weld cleanup to remove spatter, results in less consistent weld quality across the joint, and requires more skill to achieve aesthetically pleasing results. Polarity options. DC welding offers additional flexibility through polarity selection. DC straight polarity, DCEN, where the electrode is negative and workpiece is positive, provides deeper penetration. It's ideal for welding thicker materials, offers faster deposition rates, and puts less heat in the electrode and more in the workpiece. DC reverse polarity, DCEP, where the electrode is positive and workpiece is negative, provides shallower, wider penetration. It's better for overhead welding, vertical welding, and cast iron, suitable for sheet metal and aluminum, and puts more heat in the electrode and less in the workpiece. AC welding continuously alternates between polarities, balancing penetration and cleaning action. It cannot be adjusted for specific polarity benefits and provides a middle ground between DC in and DCP characteristics. Special considerations. Several unique factors may influence the choice between AC and DC welding machines. 
Regarding electrode compatibility, DC welding machines can use both AC and DC electrodes, while AC welding machines can only use AC-compatible electrodes. This limits material options for AC welding. In terms of welding position limitations, DC welding excels in all positions, flat, horizontal, vertical, overhead, while AC welding is more limited, primarily effective in flat and horizontal positions. This affects versatility in complex structural welding. When working with magnetized materials, AC welding performs better, while DC welding suffers from arc blow. This is particularly important for repair work on existing structures. In conclusion, while DC welding machines offer superior performance in most applications with better arc stability, weld quality, and versatility, AC welding machines remain valuable for specific applications like aluminum welding and working with magnetized materials. The choice between these technologies should be based on the specific requirements of the welding task, material considerations, and budget constraints.